another episode of Crazy... Oh, shit. Ah, wrong thing. Ah, ha, ha. <clears throat> Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm IT Explosive One. And we have a very special guest with us today. We have Miss Melody Payne. Hi, everyone. Happy to be back. He's back. One more day. Oh, shit. It's a new day. It's a <laughs> new day. You, you literally told me you had all the hats laid out, and then you've literally forgot every episode to change them. It's what? fine, though. Oh, there's the, there's the new Cavs hat. Huh. If, you're, if you aren't watching on YouTube, you get to see the stylings of TNT's hat collection today and yesterday and the day before. So, anyways, what is the worst job you've ever had? Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, I, I can start off. I feel like I've told this story before. Uh, I once went on an orientation for a pyramid scheme. <laughs> Did you know at the time it was a pyramid scheme? I didn't know initially it was a pyramid scheme, but I found <laughs> out it was a pyramid scheme. So what they had us doing is I got into a, uh, what's, a, what's an Elantra? I got into an Elantra. It was a, it was relatively new with a, with a young gentleman. And we were walking through an, a, a neighborhood that was a little bit more affluent, I guess. And we were trying to sell $50 coupon books for Subway. Just Subway? Just Subway. <laughs> $50 coupon book. So we walked around for, I don't know, maybe like six and a half hours, seven hours. Uh, you know, we got we got our lunch break in where we went to the gas station. And I'm saying did you like, go to Subway and use one of the coupons? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> seriously. And, but after the day was done, we sold, uh, actually, we sold like, like one booklet. And, uh. <laughs> And then I was like, so how much did you get paid for today? He was like, well, we only sold one. You know, it was just kind of a bad day. But uh, so we don't get paid by the hour. We get paid on commission. And I was like, wait, so there's no place pay? <laughs> oh, like, my God. Are you nuts? Are you nuts? Did so, he tell you how much he made for the one book that you yeah, sold? Yeah, what's commission? No, no he didn't $5. tell me. It has to at least be $5. I would hope. It's not enough. I'll tell you that no, much. It's, it's not definitely enough. not enough. That's yeah. insane. That sounds So terrible. I lasted for one day, and then uh, I've been on the lookout for those those people lately. <laughs> like, I'm I always. Know. I've been offered a coupon book in, like, years. Like... Yeah. I remember from as a kid, like, they'd, be, they'd sell them at school. They'd be like, here, yeah. there's, there's $20,000 in savings. And you're like, but I'm not going to any of these businesses. So Exactly. Yeah. I, I mean, this was this is from the early 2000s, so you know, yeah, it was yeah. A long it's like that episode ago. of The Office where they are selling the they're giving away the yeah. coupon book and the, for all the screening savings. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's how it is. What about you, Melody? Did you, have you ever had a job that you just like were like, oh no? Oh my god, so a... many. Um, one that is really relevant right now because it's so hot outside. Um, I worked at an ice cream store in high school, and mm -hmm. we needed a mascot. Our mascot was this giant cow. So it was like a six foot tall cow. I'm five two. So I'm the only person who can fit in this cow costume. Um, oh, no. I like out of the spot in the cow's neck. So like if I wanted to blow kisses, I'd do this because the mouth was like up here <laughs> to the little kids. And I'd walk outside. And it was all the freaking little boys, man, who just tackled the shit out of me. So I'd be like rolling around as hot as balls in this costume. Mm -hmm. And you come out and you're just soaked and you have to finish out your shift scooping ice cream. And it was off <laughs> oh my god uh, that, that does sound bad. bad i have to say that any like uniforms are bad when you're talking about a job uniforms are bad but a costume is Ugh. is probably the worst yeah 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 i uh mine was uh it was collecting donations for the fraternal order of police you like it was like a call center where it would like you'd sit down you had the headset on and then it would it would pop up and whoever it called and there you had to read the script and it was just like, hello, sir, I'm calling from the Fraternal Order of Police. And we're da 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 And I remember, I only worked there one day because it was, I could just tell it would be like the end of my life if I stayed there. Because the people <laughs> that lived there, they were just like, it was like they couldn't wait for cigarette breaks. And all 30 of them would go outside and smoke like nine cigarettes and then go back in. And, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I, I had a guy donate to me $100 on my first day, like on one okay. call. And it, maybe a couple others, right? And I remember... <laughs> The guy who ran, who also reminds me of that office episode where Michael gets the job at the telemarketer thing, you know what I'm talking about? Where like he, he has the, he gets that second job and he's working. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like that guy. And he was just like, he pulled me aside. He's like, 
kid, I think you got, I really think you got some talent for this, you know, because I had like the hundred dollar like donation or whatever. And I was like, what am I supposed to be like? Thanks, sir. I'm great. I'm so happy. I can read your script and get people to donate money over the phone. I was like 20, 21 or something. And I just never went back. I was like, I cannot do this. I'd rather just not have money than go, no. than go do this. No. I didn't even keep it long enough to find another job. I was just like, yeah that is the worst because i've worked other jobs where you're like on a, a phone dialer but mm -hmm. like the script is what like is what is soul sucking like not only is every call the same you yeah. have to like read the script on every single call too that is uh yeah that's how you kill someone's soul from inside out <laughs> <laughs> okay. all right so so worst job so what about dream job Melody, what would be your dream job She's living it, dude. She's living, she's living her dream job. No, we, I don't. I mean, it's still, if even if it's in the field that you're in now, what would you like from it for like long term? Would you like like a long standing role on a on a hit new comedy that's on television? Would you like to be a, a partners with a movie studio and do have a your own Mission Impossible starring you? <laughs> no, probably not feature films. I think I would like to do half hour comedy. Um, okay. I've also, I really like voiceover, so maybe like voicing a Cartoon Network show or something, just like ongoing, oh, something for like a million people. Like a real popular cartoon and you're you're one of the characters on it and it... Yeah, 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 and you just get to reprise that role over and over. You don't have to audition for like every job that lasts for one day. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, like being like a voice people. actor on The Simpsons, like for say, like we're just 30 yeah. years of the same character. Oh my god, I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be, that would be fun. That would be fun. What is that? What you would want as your dream job, or, or is there something other than what you currently do that you would want to do? Okay, I've thought about this because I've thought about quitting so many times. <laughs> I'm like, Fuck okay. this industry. If in a different world, or maybe even ten years from now, once I'm like, fuck Hollywood, um, I want to be a librarian in Hollywood, and at night I want to bartend. Okay, a librarian, a bartender. <laughs> Librarian by day, drink slanger at night. I love books. I love my quiet. But at night, I want to get rowdy with some tourists who are like, I don't give a fuck about anything. I'm on vacation. I'm like, yeah, I'll okay. take some tequila shots with you. That sounds awesome. Okay. What part of uh, what part of LA Hollywood do you want? What would you want to be a bartender in? Oh, I would want to do this in Hawaii. Oh, in Hawaii. Okay. Okay, I thought you said a librarian in Hollywood, so I misunderstood. So, so you want to be a librarian bartender in Hawaii? Oh, nice. oh, would you like okay. to like you own the bar on the beach and it's like your bar or you just want to work there because you don't want the responsibility oh, God. <gasps> that would be amazing but it also sounds like a lot of work so i'm just yeah. having <laughs> up shifts man right and quitting right. when i feel like quitting but hopefully okay. i don't know I mean, that's, and it, you know, what's interesting is like, you know, you're in Hollywood, very hustle bustle, like grindy, like, you know, very competitive, like, and mm. that just sounds like such a more like, ah, I'm just yeah. working, you know, it's, it's like, there's no work. stress. Once I'm burnt out, man, that's where I'm going. Uh, what oh, about okay. you, TT? A porn star. Next. <laughs> that's, that's it. Just, you want to be the next John Holmes? Yeah, what? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Did I set her? What about you? <laughs> what? Pardon? You can be a porn star now. I you cannot be a porn Only star. Fans? Start an OnlyFans, dude. What? Yeah. You guys think I would? You guys? Would you guys sign like up? Everyone, Feet Finder is that porn to people? To someone, that's porn. Oh, feet. Oh, Feet Finder. Yeah. 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 Just sell pictures of your feet, dude. Oh yeah. Would you help me take pictures? Uh, <laughs> me? Jonas? No. Would I, you... My uh, my camera broke. It don't. No. It, when you aim it at feet, they it stops working. Can I use your your margarine in the refrigerator? If... <laughs> sure, All sure. Right, I'll cool. let you take my tub. I'll just buy a new one. It's fine. I know that they're works. expensive nowadays. Yeah, uh, I don't I know. Seems honestly, like the industry I want to get into, though. There you. I would either want to do. I would either want to have a uh, a radio show, like like a eight, like on like a, like an AM radio show. It's on for like three hours a day during like the week. And syndicated, I guess, would be fine. Uh, or a stand-up comedian. I think I would. Uh, I would like to do that. I think that's something I've always wanted to do, and I've done improv and stuff. It's just the. Uh, I just never. I, I. You know. I should do that. They were doing stand-up courses. I was honestly thinking about that myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's it's an entirely different style of writing jokes, though, man. Like improv, I like because it's like I'm very off the top of the head, spontaneous. But like trying to write something that's like a formatted like thing to like stand up there and talk about. 
I don't know. It's just always kind of eluded me. I'm sure if I actually sat down and tried, I'd be fine. But it's yeah, jobs, jobs, and entertainment are never what they appear. It's never mm-hmm. really the performance. The performance ends up being like ten percent of it. The rest of it is like selling yourself, learning your lines, learning your 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 uh, setups and your marks, perfecting the things. It's really never the performance is such a, like, yeah. a small part. What is what is the most challenging part of that melody? Like of like doing entertainment, like you know, acting based things. What's the hardest part of all of it? Oh man, um, I think the hardest part is letting it go once you submit your audition. It's so hard, man, because a lot of times you never mm-hmm. hear anything back, mm-hmm. and then you uh... have completely immersed yourself in that role, fallen in love with it dead silence you see a preview in a few months and you see the girl who got it or the person who actually got that role and you're just like i want to be supportive but i like also it seems it's like watching an ex's wedding video is how i oh that sounds like my experience with dating sites i get really excited and then (laughs) then i hear nothing i'm joking (laughs) (laughs) well it's like the people following up be like oh you would have been perfect for that role like why wasn't it you wow is that, is that everybody blowing smoke up everybody's ass, though? Is that, like, kind of like a common Hollywood thing? They're just like, I don't know why you didn't get it. You would have been perfect for it. Is that kind of like a common... <laughs> well, it usually comes from people who aren't in the industry, who just, like, watch that movie or watch that TV oh, show. Okay. Like, gotcha, oh, well, gotcha. this character totally reminded me of you. Like, why wasn't it you? And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> like, obviously, what I read for, like, I... Hmm. Because it's never, it's never about how good you are. It's about who you know. Yeah. What what would you say your success rate is, or what an average success rate? Like, you apply, like, did you get, like, try to get, try to, like, is one out of 10 jobs that you apply for a good success rate, or is that low? Yeah, that or? would be incredible. That'd be amazing. Oh <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, I'll take one out of 10. Uh, for voiceover, well, okay. Say for commercials, maybe one in 15. Like, I do decently well in commercials. Um, TV, I'm so far, like, one for maybe a hundred over the past few years okay. and then voiceover it's probably one in every 300. oh because voiceover is probably like a very competitive right because it yeah and the same people work over and over again and they can do a right. million voices so. um, gotcha, gotcha. what quick question and then we'll be done what was your favorite commercial you've ever done like what like what pro, like was there a product you were like that was an awesome commercial hmm I like the one that I did with John Cena and the Purple Cow for Experian because it was two days of work and I just stood there for the whole time. I had one line and I was just like, this is awesome. Oh, you got to work with John Cena on an Experian commercial? Yeah. I'm going to bring up the commercial. (laughs) Oh, they built a whole set and everything and it was like a really easy job. Oh, and anything awesome. with celebrities is great because they air that shit over and over again. So you're like, oh yeah, that's true. Did you get to like talk talk to John Cena? Or is it one of those things where they're just they're the famous person just comes in, does their thing, and leaves? They don't really talk to people and do their. Yeah, he didn't talk much. Um, it was mostly so we had to do camera rehearsals, and it was a stand-in who was there. So. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, we saw so, wow, that's funny. They're just like, okay, John, you can come in and do your thing. And he's like, okay, I'm leaving now. Like that's. Oh. Well. Yeah, I mean, he's got a busy. He was like filming two other projects. So. Oh right, right. That makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT and... I'm Melody. Bye, guys. Uh, We are up.